Now we are looking at the base of the Argaria nervosa. This is Argaria nervosa creeper. It becomes a giant in due course. I climbed it up to this uh, ficus racemosus. You can see it's already the size of a wrist. The creeper has gone up and occupied the top area of the ficus racemosus tree. And I also want you to see the bark of the ficus racemosus. It's smooth and white. And this is uh, this ficus racemosus, a very important uh, keystone species, and it supports hundreds of species of birds and insects and animals. It's called Audambara in Sanskrit. It's herb. It's a herbal tree. And as you can see at the bottom, there's very good mulch. This tree sheds leaves thrice a year, and the le uh, the dead leaves are quite small, like this. So it doesn't stick and poke through the shrubs underneath. And also we have climbed Tinospora cordifolia onto this. So on the ficus we are having Argaria nervosa and Tinospora cordifolia both climbing up. And next you can see a termite mold here. I'll show you the bottom of it. It's quite a big thing. And these are indications of water underneath in the ground. When there's good ground water, these ficus racemosus trees are an indication. They grow very fast when they tap a good source of ground water. And termites also indicate that there's a water stream under the ground here. Now we'll show you the top of the tree and a few leaves, ficus racemosus leaves. You can see the pretty light colored new leaves and uh, there are one or two dried leaves of silver oak also stuck here. That's a ficus racemosus leaf. And these twigs also are used in uh, medicine as well as in, for, in um, Indian rituals and religion also. And this tree, wherever it is there, that means the surrounding area is ecologically in reasonably good health and it's a sign of improvement, it's a sign of hope to see these trees anywhere.